Okay, here's my two rolls of pennies, slightly pre-opened. I use paper. I use a a basic of fingernail clippers to clip by the ends right there, so it makes it so much easier to open up. I mean, it still makes it challenging doing it one-handed. Case in point. So give me a moment, please. All right. So I had to unwrap both rolls. So let's take a look at them, shall we? Okay. A little discoloration there. Possible hope. Possible hope. Ooh, that's not brand new. I guarantee you that's possible not. There might be a new one in there that's just a bit dirty. Same thing goes there. So there is possibility for the pennies from the bank roll. So let's check out this other one. We got probably nothing. Yeah, see the 2017, nothing there. Top of nothing. Maybe that one right there that has a whitish discoloration to it. Possibly those ones right there as well. Ooh, that one too. I mean, look, there's a lot of discoloration. There's some good possibilities here, but then again, there could also be just a bunch of pennies that have dirt on them that need to be cleaned up. So let me weigh them out and let's find out, shall we? Well, I've gone through both rolls of dimes. That's every single dime, nickel, and penny that I got from the bank rolls. I mean, okay, that's just the last roll of pennies. And that's the only penny I got out of that whole roll is one penny. The other roll got those pennies. Okay, this end penny right here. Sorry, not there. But that one right there. That only weighed 2.5, but I wanted to show you that on the microscope because it is way chewed up. So, you, so give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, let's see what we found. But first, I'm going to show you that one penny I told you about. The one that, well... It looks like someone was hungry for a piece of not copper. But look at that. Look at how bad that is. You can't you can barely make out that date. I mean I guess I could probably take a polishing brush to it or something, try to get try to get that date out. See what it is, but still, I mean, look at how bad that is. <laughs> Liberty you get those CL. <laughs> That'd be nice. Okay, how about Reverse. Looks like they took a little bite out of it. Hmm. Yeah. I'll try to give that a quick cleaning and see what uh, this spot below my finger is because that might be some gunk or it actually could be a massive dye chip. One way to find out, and that's just to clean this penny up and take a, close, a better look. But before I do show you that penny, let's show you the other pennies I got. I got me a 1980. This is from the first row, mind you. 1977D. So copper, copper, copper. 1973D. Then this is the first row, the only penny I got. 1966. And. None of them have the wheat penny on the back or any other design besides the standard, the standard design. Now I gotta zoom in on that one to see here. See, let's see if we take a look at that little dude in the center. All right then. Huh. Interesting. I'm zooming in. It looks interesting. But now we're going to break into the second set that I got from Maverick and see if we got anything good from there. So stick with me on that one. And on that one penny I showed you that was chewing up at the very bottom, that one right there, I sort of got a date. I think it is 2003. What do you guys think? I mean, or 2008, but wow, that thing is just, that was so hard to get that out. I had to actually use a wire wheel to get that, to get it to even show that much. I didn't want to try any more because I didn't want to, you know, well, although I, I doubt it would actually hurt the penny, but still. It's not a keeper though, but like I said, we're going to go to the second set. So give me, a, give me a moment and we'll see what good stuff we can find. Well, my YouTube peeps. These are from both rolls of the pennies. Nothing but copper. This one I already showed you. This one that had that 
double uh, die stamp on there for the mint the mint mark. I'll show you again, but this is an interesting thing. Look at this bad boy. You can tell it's a penny. You take it further back a little bit, look, you see the columns right there. It's like that, right? I mean, look at this thing. It, it's just been chewed up. That was the back. The front, you can barely make out. But you see, there's his face. Oh, yeah, he has been way chewed up. Holy crap. I got stuck in the street ran over a few times, but wow. That's pretty bad. Like I said, here's the, here's the last time about with the double, the double, um, Double die cast right there. I give myself a full magnification. See that extra D right there? So that's pretty sweet right there, isn't it? But besides that, I want to thank everyone for joining me for What's in Your Pocket um, Coin Comparison Edition from Maverick to. Uh, and the Mountain America Credit Union, where I got the rolls of coins from. And this roll of pennies that I'm showing you with his double stamp right there for the mark came from Maverick. So, um, maybe we should start going to convenience stores and buying other coins instead of banks because I get better coins from the convenience store than I do the bank. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening.